there is this age old term uh, and the term goes like this never bite the hen that feeds you uh, and the reason why is because hey your substance uh, is derived from uh, that hand why, why would anybody do that uh, and it goes on uh, uh, along with the terms of you know you got a junkyard dog right and you got it you got a dog and you got a you got a you got a you, you got a and this dog has been been faithful I mean this pit bull has been faithful um, uh, all his life but one day this pit bull uh, turns around and he bites you now we all know what the procedure for that is uh, once a dog turns around and bites you bites the hand of feet you got to put him down is that not the is that not the sentiment is that not the sentiment because if he'll bite you once He'll bite you again and again. He'll attack you. He may attack the children, anything like that. This is why, um, you know, I had a, a, a ram, and, and that ram, uh, he attacked my child. I put that ram down that very moment. As soon as I saw it, I went outside, I pulled out my gun, and I shot that ram. I didn't even uh, attempt to uh, harvest any meat or anything from that ram's body. I, I th 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 threw it in the ditch, covered it up with the, in the ditch, and I covered it up with leaves because uh, the second you have an animal uh, uh, or anybody that exhibits that kind of aggression towards you, they're capable of doing it again. These are all sayings that we know and that we've heard throughout our lives. Uh, never bite the hand that feeds you. Because all your substance comes from them. Um, well, when we look at, at, at men, uh, you know, it, it's it's amazing how you can derive everything that you have, your status, uh, your family, your uh, position, uh, your power. Everything is derived by somebody else, and then you turn around and you bite them. Uh, you got to get put down. Uh, it, it's just as simple as that. This is. This is basic uh, uh, knowledge for anybody that understands how this works. Never bite the hand that feeds you. Uh, especially if you don't have the ability to feed yourself. Like any junkyard dog or dog, uh, they, don't, they don't have the ability to feed themselves. Sure, they can go out there and they can scavenge and they can, and they can scoundrel uh, for food. Uh, and they'll end up you know, uh, biting or attacking somebody else. This is why, you know, animals like that, uh, you go ahead and you take them to the pound and, and, and they get euthanized or, or better yet, they get, they get shot up with, 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 with them chemicals and they put them down. Why? Because they're out of control. They've exhibited the nature of, of, of an animal that, uh, has lost control that, that has no, because we even think, or we wouldn't even expect a cat, or a dog that lives in our house to behave in such a manner. Would you not expect that? Out of your animal, out of your cat, or out of your dog, especially out of your, let's use dogs for an example. Would you not expect your dog to act a certain way after you've trained them to act a certain way? And then when they defied that and they didn't turn around and they bit you on an arm and they've caused you damage. Oh, no, 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 no. You got to put that dog down. They're totally out of control. Are you getting this? Because it goes the same for people. 